I'm going to show you how to make this a desktop computer. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your laptop into a desktop computer. It's pretty simple. Uh, with everybody working at home these days, it's kind of nice to be able to you know, not have to have two computers. You can make your laptop into a desktop and then just unplug one cord and take it with you. So I'm going to go through the quick steps and what you're going to need to accomplish that. But before we do anything, I'm going to show you one setting on your laptop that you have to change. Um, this is Windows 10, of course. We're going to take our mouse and we're going to right click on the start menu and we're going to go to power options right here. We're going to go over here and click on additional power settings. And then we're going to go up here and choose what closing the lid does. Click that and back over here where it says when I close the lid, default is always sleep. So we're going to click that and change it to do nothing on both battery and when it's plugged in. And we're going to save the changes. Close that out. Boom. That's all you got to do on, the, on your laptop. Um, it really doesn't matter what kind of laptop it is. Um, that's the only thing you got to do on the computer. So first thing we're going to need, besides the laptop, is we're going to need a monitor. In this case, in this example, I'm using, I just got a 24 inch, the one I had laying around out of the box, 24 inch, full 1080p. Uh, now with what I'm showing you here, you, you can easily do this with dual monitors if you want. Before we do that though, what you're going to need is a monitor, you're going to need a docking station of some sort. There's lots of different types. Um, I'll have a link down below where you can get this one that I'm using in my example here. This is a USB uh, A type or C type docking station. It does require a power cord and it will support dual monitors, DVI or HDMI. This model came with an adapt, a couple of different adapters. So no matter what configuration your monitor is, you should be able to get it hooked up. This docking station has Ethernet port has tons of USB ports. This is the cable right here, the only one that we're going to hook to the computer. This is a C type USB. It's not Thunderbolt. This is Thunderbolt USB C. This one does not require a, a power cord. These are nice if you have a higher end model like a Dell XPS, a Lenovo Yoga, some of the higher end HP Spectres have the Thunderbolt, has a little lightning bolt by the C port. And you can use this, a um, little more versatile. But again, for this, we're just going to use our C-type here. I'm going to plug it over here into my USB-C port on the side of the laptop. That's it. And here's the back of the monitor. I got my HDMI cable hooked into the monitor, into the back of my docking station, power cord, and that's it. So we can, you can arrange this nicely on your desk at home or at work, whatever you want to do. So let me just... I'm going to actually just push this over here. Now, this docking station also has a port on the end here. If you have desktop speakers, you can do that. But what I would like to do, seeing this is basically going to be a workstation, just use a Bluetooth speaker like this. Um, just pair it up to your unit and a lot less wires you got to deal with. You can kind of set it anywhere. Then, of course, we need a keyboard and mouse. Now, you can use a USB keyboard and mouse, but on this Example, I'm using a Logitech wireless keyboard mouse. I got the USB receiver already plugged into the docking station here, you can see. And again, you can use Ethernet, but I'm just using the Wi-Fi for today's demonstration. And like I said, if you want to use regular desktop speakers, you can do that. But the docking station I am using is this pluggable. They make a lot of good stuff. This unit runs about 90 bucks. They got a vertical version of this. And this is a horizontal. So again, there's lots of, <clears throat> lots of different types of docking stations, but they're usually usually around 80 to 100 bucks for a decent one. So let's put our desktop, now desktop, over here. I'm going to set my monitor over here. You can see it already came up. I got the lid closed. That's why we changed that one setting. Let me turn on my Bluetooth speaker. You can set this anywhere. Let me rearrange myself here. So again, if you want dual monitors, you can easily do that. That docking station easily supports it. Oop, got to turn my mouse on. So you can see how easy this is to set up. 
Um, you got you, you got to have a few things. You can use any monitor, really. So let me make sure. Oh, there we got our mouse. And we got sound. You can set your speaker anywhere you want. Here, I'll just put it back here. So you got wireless keyboard mouse. You got this. Um, that's about it, guys. So now we have a desktop computer. But if you want to go on the go, just pull the USB-C cable out. Boom. Take it with you. It's that simple. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I'll have links down below where you can get this stuff that I use in this demonstration here. Um, I appreciate you watching. Give me a like. Ring the bell. Have a great day.